Hey, human family, how are you? It's Darren. Welcome to another episode of Fully Alive Again. You guys, today I want to answer a very poignant question that was asked by one of our listeners. The question was, will I ever be the same again? This is so important to understand and to face head on. The sooner you understand this, and the sooner you face it and look it dead in the eye and deal with it, the better you will feel and the quicker your healing journey will be. So let's do what we do and dive deep. No tears, no fears, fully alive again after this years. The great Krishnamurti stated, It is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. <whistles> Let me say that again. It is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. Well stated. Powerful stuff. You see, even though it doesn't feel like it, it's a good thing that you don't feel like you're a part of the world anymore. If you're like me and millions of others, once you go through narcissistic abuse and you start to see these monsters all around and everywhere, and you start to reflect upon your life, you really feel like you're the alien. Like you're on the wrong planet. What the hell is going on? I don't fit in this world anymore. And you don't. And this is a good thing. The reason that you don't fit anymore is because if... If you've seen the movie The Matrix, it's because you have stepped out of the matrix of pretend. A society that pretends that all human beings are alike. And that there's people that just suffer from personality disorders and people who don't. But you know from your experience, it's much deeper than that that everything has changed. There's a different vibration, a different frequency that you are existing in right now. There's a heightened level of awareness that the world that you once knew has changed. Don't be afraid of this. I know it seems overwhelming right now. It is fucking frightening. I get it. I've been there. I lived there. This shit almost ended me. I was surrounded by these people everywhere. I had no place to rest my head. I fully understand what you're going through. Time is your ally, not your enemy. It's going to take time, but know while you're going down this journey that you are perfectly normal in how you feel. Feeling that you are not the same person. Feeling like everything has changed. It's a paradox. It has and it hasn't. As time goes on, as you become to connect back to yourself, you will bring forth a lot of the good assets characteristics and traits that you had before you were annihilated by this creature. The good news is, is that you're going to come back more powerful, more capable, more focused, more courageous and stronger than you ever imagined. I know it doesn't feel like that. I know some days you feel like that, then something triggers you and you're back into that sunken place. This is normal. You can have a rush of anxiety and fear when we're triggered. This is normal. My point here is, is that 
it is perfectly normal to feel like you don't belong on the planet anymore because you're getting healthy. Most people are profoundly sick. They are governed by narcissists. They are puppets from their family, from their culture, from their religion, from their nationality, from their race. Very few people are living authentically. They have accepted their assigned race, their assigned God, their assigned nationality, their assigned this, that, and the other. And please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Boundaries, culture, and structure are needed and they are needed more than ever in our world. I don't want to belittle those things. What I'm saying is that you have to connect with a deeper sense of yourself to learn how to utilize those things and maintain self-governance in this world to maintain your sanity. You will never be the person you once were. Accept that. Stop looking for that. Stop looking to go back to a world that doesn't exist anymore and never did. We have to look towards the future. You cannot get to the future hanging on and attached to the past. There's an old saying that you have to die while you're alive. That the person that is constantly happy is constantly changing and evolving. To be constantly happy, we have to constantly change. To constantly change, we have to detach from the old to allow the new. You cannot get to where you're going if you're looking in the rearview mirror all the time. Please understand this. Detach from the old you and get ready to create and celebrate the new and improved you. Stop looking for the good old days. They're gone and they weren't that freaking good. You know that. We were in a pretend world. Being a person that we really weren't around people who really weren't who we thought they were. Our real power comes from the things that we didn't want to happen. The things we didn't ask for. The things that have annihilated us. The things we wouldn't wish on our worst enemy. This is where our power comes from. This is where our motivation and drive and enthusiasm should come from. It doesn't come from convenience and comfort. It is through the things that you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy, the things that blindsided you and knocked you to your knees that makes us the best that we can be. What has happened to us is a blessing if we choose to utilize it. We cannot utilize it if we are clinging to the past. It is the clinging that causes pain. Life is unknown to all of us. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. We don't know what's going to happen. Just think about it, you guys. In a million years, we would have never predicted that, that this kind of stuff would have happened to us. That there were people of this caliber that were in our own families, closest in our closest circle, people who were we were lying in bed with. This shit blows your mind when you think about it. It's normal to want to cling to the past and what we believed were the good old days, but the past was an illusion. Our job is to detach from the past and to journey into the future with optimism, faith and belief in God and the universal principles of this world, knowing that we are going to make it through. It is the clinging that hurts, you guys. You don't need a degree in psychology. You don't have to understand all the nuances of dysfunctional people. You have to understand you. And tighten up yourself.
and get strong and get ready and become fully alive. Does that make sense, you guys? I certainly hope so. That's it for today, you guys. I deeply appreciate you stopping by. Remember, today is about detachment so we can step into the future. All right, you guys? <laughs> and always remember, no matter what they've done to you, no matter how they blindsided you, it is better to be used, abused, tricked, and even damaged by a narcissist than to be an ass clown narcissist. F these people. Stand up again. Move forward with your life. All right, you guys? And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, peace, be well.